Good evening everyone and welcome to the final Fright Nights announcement for this year. Come on, big up everyone in the chat right now. Oh my god, we're finally here. Door number nine. Come on. What is everyone saying in the chat? Who have we got with us this evening? As I said, we are live nice and early today because there is a lot to speculate about. Come on! Big up Josh Smith in the chat, what are you saying? We've got Fort Park official in the chat. It's a big evening, of course they're here tonight. Will Claps in the chat saying he's been looking forward to this all day. <laughs> Come on. Oh yeah, so tonight is the 31st of August. It's the final day of August. Josh Smith has noticed my lovely room. Oh boy! <laughs> oh yes. Minecrafter says, I can't wait. I have, I've been redecorating my room today. Do you guys like it? What do you think? <laughs> yes, tonight is the night everyone that we get our final announcement for 2022 Fright Nights. Big up Karen Silkstone in the chat. Oh yes. <clears throat> Big up everyone that's in the chat right now. We are live nice and early. We've got over half an hour to go to speculate and have a big old chat. And I've got something pretty cool to share with you guys as well before we even get the announcement. <clears throat> Fort Park have said back soon, just making a coffee. <laughs> Josh Smith said, Jack, what are you hiding from us? Because Forp haven't even started a stream yet. It's coming. Don't you worry. It's the last one. They've got to leave us on our toes a little bit. Oh, yes. I'm very excited for tonight. That everything that we've, every single stream that we've done, every single announcement video that Forp Arc have released is building us to tonight, the final door, door number nine. It's the door that's been at the corridor, at the end of a corridor this whole time. And it's finally time. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have some nice speculation tonight. Red Light and Gaming said, uh, new maze waiting for this moment for two weeks, oh yes. The eye is giving me crop circle vibes. <laughs> TJ Vid said, when will the full lineup be announced for? Well, tonight is the final announcement. There will be like one of those classic big videos, but that's not yet. Tonight is the night we've been waiting for. Tonight is the night. Big up Rage, thank you for the super chat. Hi Jack, how are you? I am very well, thank you. Very well. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm just super excited for tonight. I'm very excited to be here. Jack, your room's looking a bit sus, isn't it? It's looking a little bit sus. <laughs> oh, yes. We're here nice and early. Though. I was going to say I'm going to stick a poll in the live chat this evening, but there's no point anymore. <laughs> we know that we are getting a brand new maze announced this evening. The brand new maze for this year. Jack, what days are you visiting during Friday nights? I'm going to be there so much. So much. So I can't even list you which days I'll be there. Because the answer is too many to count. Oh dear. Right, so, 
Yeah, I thought I'd go live nice and early. As I said, I don't think the Forbes stream is even live yet. But don't you worry. <laughs> we are on for an 8 o'clock start, as always. And we've got just over 30 minutes to go. Ollie said it feels like yesterday that the first teaser came out. It really does, doesn't it? I can't believe how quickly we've shot through all of these teasers. And I think I've been live for all but one. I think I missed the Creep Freaks Unchained video. I couldn't go live for that one. But every other time we've been live and you guys have joined me every evening at around 7, 7.30. Oh, it's been so much fun. I'm going to miss these live streams. But yeah, we're in this uh, in this kind of pre-game lobby, as we call it. We're going to be looking back over all of the teasers that we've had so far this year. We're going to look at like the Locksmith character. And as I said, I've got something very cool to share with you guys um, in which you can win some awesome prizes. That's right. Some Fright Nights related prizes. Jess said, I'm going to miss these announcements. Believe me, me too. It's something to look forward to every day. Like, I'm looking forward to going live in the evening. But you've just got to remember that once these announcements are over, construction's going to really pick up at the park, which means the Fright Nights construction updates are going to be even more exciting. And of course, after that, we get actual Fright Nights. So it's definitely not an L. It's all very exciting. But yeah, if you were here in yesterday's live stream, I gave you all some homework. I said I want to hear all of your wildest speculation for tonight's announcement. I want to know where you think tonight's maid could be going. I want to know what you think a name could be. I want to know what theme you think it could be. I want to know everything you guys have to say about tonight's maid. So yeah, get thinking. Because obviously we can't do the poll this evening. So we've got to find another way to, um, to speculate. But yeah, there's over 200 of you here already ready for tonight's announcement which is coming in half an hour i'm so excited let's get the police in here come on coming soon to super spark cinema so yeah let me um load over here a very first locksmith video and we'll give that a little watch because this is where it all began of course this year so let me jump over to my screen record and we will enjoy the very first trailer apparently my stream deck doesn't want to work tonight <laughs> okay so i'll drop down the audio and we will enjoy this was of course the final kind of locksmith teaser that we got when even was this posted a good few weeks ago now here we go let's give it a watch together so this is where it all began this year with the locksmith in his lair and everyone was speculating as to what what the different posters on the wall could mean what he was making There we go, he's got his Fright Nights key. <clears throat> there it is, guys. There is the symbol. And of course, there is the corridor. And there he goes. As he walks down his corridor, these are obviously the doors. So that has been opening over the past two weeks or so. Obviously, our first door, which you can actually see, is the trailer's door. That was the first one that he opened. And then he obviously opened the crows and he's just been making his way down the corridor. Look at him go. Right down to this final door at the end of the corridor, which he's unlocking there. And that brings us right to this moment that brings us to tonight, where we are finally going to see what is behind that final door. Yeah, my Yo, big up Rage Kappa, thank you very much for the super chat. 
I think it will be an evil carnival maze. Oh, an evil carnival maze. So yeah, as I said, we're going to speculate all about what we could be getting tonight. And your prediction is an evil carnival maze. That's been a lot of, um, there's been a lot of speculation surrounding the carnival and if it will play into this year's Fright Nights. So obviously you've got kind of two parts of the carnival this year. You've got the carnival that are located over by Colossus and then you've got this junkyard kind of reject clowns who are kicked out of the carnival and pushed over to the junkyard. And yeah, obviously we got our tarot cards from this year's carnival. Which uh, of all Fright yeah. Nights related. Train, so that's very exciting indeed. Day. Big up Thomas O'Neill. Thank you very much for the super chat, bro. I hope you're well. Good evening, Paul Robinson. I hope you're well. So we've got Joe Does Vlogs in the chat who said. Nobody is prepared for how scary Dark Fields is going to be. Just did Seance, Flight and Eulogy at Edinburgh Fringe. Scariest stuff I've ever done. So yeah, Fort Park's second last announcement, The Terminal, was basically their collaboration with a company called Dark Field, who do yeah, audio of scare experiences. I unfortunately haven't done one, but as I said, I've heard amazing reviews. And um, Joe Does Vlogs is backing that up. That's very exciting. Big up uh, Alfie Dodman. Sorry I missed the uh, super chat there, but thank you very much, bro. I hope you're well. Thank you for joining us this evening. The Nebula Moth said, I have a theory. If fear watches over the island, that I could represent fear for watching us. <laughs> very exciting. Soviet Pride just said, Big top. <laughs> I know a lot of people want the big top to return. Jess Hester said, I've been researching yeah. Darkfield and the reviews are fantastic. Yeah, train, it's the same as me. I've never done it, unfortunately, but the reviews go clear. <laughs> James said, I hope it's a wild mouse spinning coaster. I don't think it's looking likely that we're going to get a new coaster for Fright Night. <laughs> Imagine that if one, one year they just announced a coaster behind like one of these Fright Night's announcements. That'll be cool. Welcome That'll be very cool. Trailers. This is a live action Dylan said, as if we don't have a link for it yet. Has the link not gone live yet? I'll let you guys know as soon as it is. I'm keeping an eye on it over on this screen. But uh, it won't be long. It won't be long, I'm sure. It's the last one, though. It's a bit of anticipation, isn't it? But yeah, I want to know what all you guys think is going to be announced tonight. So purely, let me know in the live chat what theme you think this new maze could be. We'll go on to the maze and all of that stuff in a little bit. But let me know what theme you think tonight's maze could be. So do you think it could be a circus theme maze? A, a shipwreck theme maze? Let me know what you think it could be. And we will, I'll go through the, through the chat. Har Harry said, Cabin in the Woods Return. Cabin in the Woods Return. The eye is fear yeah. in the secret control room. Ooh, train, very cool. Big up Rage again. Thank you very much. Rage thinks it could it be, be a, witch's a witch's maze. A lot of people were saying that in my last stream. Like, they want to see some kind of witch um, character bought to Fright yeah. Night. Big up Christopher. Thank Rep you very much. Is this going to be the biggest Fright Night Ooh, event? Ooh, is it going to be the biggest Fright Nights ever? Event, sorry. It's looking like a big year. We've got a lot of announcements already. It's, it's looking like it could be a good year. Thank you for the super chat though, Christopher. Are you heading to Fright Nights this year, Christopher? I sure hope so. Merlin's beard said, uh, fear. It could yeah. be a fear fiend maze. Thank you very much, Lily Page, for the super chat. I have been watching since Do or Die. Yeah, Do you let's think it go. will be something for the backstory of Exodus like they did for Saw? Smiley face. Okay, that's very cool. First of all, thank you for the super chat, Lily, and big up for watching all those years. Do or Die, blimey, that was a good few years back now. Um, so do I think it will be something for the backstory of Exodus like they did for Saw? So interestingly, with um, Saw Alive, that actually came the year after Saw the Ride. So with like Alton Towers mazes, 
they have they had like the sanctuary teasing the smiler the year before it come and then they had the welcoming the year before wicker man came but with fort parks the only time they've ever really done that is the year after the roller coaster was built um so yeah it's a very it's a very good bit of speculation there lily but um just remember that project exodus isn't due to open in 2023 if it is to open fingers crossed it does <laughs> Um, then it's looking like probably a 2024 opening. Hopefully. <laughs> so Callum Rogers thinks a maze themed around Swarm. As there is no zone there this year. Theme Park Alex says Swarm Invasion. A lot of people are missing Swarm Invasion. Obviously it hasn't been announced. Um, yet. Like nothing has been said about it. So a lot of people are hoping that it somehow returns. Because it is the Swarm's birthday this year. Minecrafter thinks the name of the maze is going to be Mummy's Revenge. And the theme is going to be a Mummy's Break Out of Their Tombs. Very nice. Fort Park um, Burger <laughs> thinks a, a zombie maze. We obviously haven't had a zombie maze since The Walking Dead was at the park. A good few years back. The eye has labyrinth vibes, says JD. Could we be seeing a labyrinth mix up? That was obviously a massive bit of speculation when um, Black Mirror Labyrinth was first being built. What the hell's going on with my light back there? <laughs> What's going on there? I think you guys have broken it with the super chat. It's just stuck on orange. Is it going to go back to blue? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> What's happened to this one now? Yo, Rose Inferno, I think you've broken my lights. Let me, um... Yeah, my team from Here we go. Train, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Big up Rates Kappa, thank you very much. Um, sorry, I missed um, Roses. Love your videos. Still have your SLK merch. Can't wait for winter to wear the jumper. Thank you very much, Rose. Thank you so much. And I am working on some, some cool merch ideas um, that will hopefully... You guys will hopefully be able to see nice and soon. So thank you very much, Rose. Really appreciate that. And Rage Kappa said it might be a maze based on people's fears. Okay, very cool, very cool. I love this speculation. Chirpy Chips said I don't want any old mazes to return in a new way, to be honest. That's fair enough, fair enough. Jess said we need another free flow maze. Oh, I love a good free flow maze. So for those of you that don't, might not know, essentially within kind of horror maze design and stuff, you've got linear mazes in which you'll enter the maze with a group of people. You'll go through the maze in one line and then you'll leave the maze with that same group of people. Um, so mazes like this are trailers, um, Creep Freak Massacre. So every maze currently at Fort Park. Um, however, there are actually there's actually another type of horror maze called Free Flow in which you essentially choose your own way or you might get forced to go a certain way by the actors um, and you don't really have a choice. Like You get split up from your group and you, at some point you might be completely on your own in that maze. So yeah. Okay guys, I've just got some intel. As you can see, the final yeah. video My is now live. Loving the eye in the background. Let me drop down that audio, sorry. We got Skeletor in the chat, come on. The yeah. final My door. So yeah, the Fort Park live chat is now live, guys. Big up for all these super chats. I will catch up with them. The final door. There you go, guys. The live chat is now live. Apologies, I missed a few super chats there. Big up Dominic Gardner, who said, uh, loving the eye in the background. Don't know what you're talking about, Dom. What do you mean? <laughs> Thank you, though, Dom. Really appreciate that. And big up Rose Inferno again. I think the new maze will be the swarm maze. So, yeah, you're joining a lot of people and speculating there that this will be a kind of swarm themed maze. Um, Rose Inferno. It's a cool theme. It's a cool theme. And actually, 
Did you know, back when the Swarm roller coaster opened, there were actually like plans or like concept art for another Swarm attraction. Now this attraction never get built, got built, but it was going to be similar to like Nemesis in Subterra is to Nemesis, in which it was like a, a kind of separate attraction, Dark Ride experience. Um, so yeah, that, that was a thing. Now I think I missed another one. Um, yeah, Christopher again, thanks for the super chat. Will the actors be more hands-on this year? I believe so. I believe because COVID's kind of died down a little bit, obviously the actors weren't getting up too much in your face and like touching you in previous years, but I think this year um, it's going to be a bit more intense. <clears throat> right, seeing as we've got 17 minutes to go guys, I've got something cool to share with you all um, in which you can win some awesome Fright Nights prizes. Now, this is a competition that's being run by Fort Park and yeah, they sent me the link basically early to share with you all so that you can get your entrance in nice and early. So I've got a QR code to share with you all on screen. There you go. So I should go this way, shouldn't I? <laughs> so yeah, feel free to scan that and um, you can win a bunch of prizes basically. In fact, I can show you what you can win if I head over to this screen. I'll put the QR code up very shortly, don't you worry. Um, yeah, you can win an Ultimate Thrill Seeker Bundle for four. Don't worry, this isn't an ad, by the way, guys. Four part, we're going to put this um, competition live tomorrow. And I was like, yeah, I've got a perfect audience that would love this. So, yeah, you can win a night stay for four at Fort Park. You can win tickets to all four, all three scare mazes and the scare experience for four people. In September. When you drop your hoodies again, I will be buying it and wear it for Fright Night. Yo, thank you so much for the super chat. That's very exciting. You're going to Friday nights this year. And you went last in 2021 September. That's mad. Um, so yeah, I'll drop this link into the chat. And yeah, I feel like that's... Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that photo yet, but there you go. So yeah, you can win all of this stuff. Just head over to um, the link that I'm about to put in the chat. Or, as I said, you can scan the QR code. I keep going the wrong way. That's on screen right. <laughs> That's on screen right now. Um, scan that, and uh, you can go and. I think you just have to sign up to their their newsletter, and you can win literally four four tickets to all of the mazes this year, as well as the scare experience and an overnight um, stay for four people. But yeah, don't worry, it's not an ad, guys. I'm not I'm not being paid to say this or anything. I just thought you guys, you guys are the perfect audience for this competition. And yeah, it was going to be launched tomorrow, but I was like, I've got the perfect audience for this competition. So yeah, I'm hooking you up with, uh, with the early access link to this competition. So yeah, I put the link in the live chat. I think I've done it twice now. So yeah, feel free to go and um, vote on that. Vote, um, go and enter that. Grey Bars and Coaster says, signed up because I can go, Prob's not gonna go, so I'll give it to a friend of it. There you go, even if you win, you can uh, give it to someone else. I mean, feel free to give it to me if you want. <laughs> I'll happily take uh, four maze tickets. Yeah, I thought you guys would be it would be perfect to go and get the little early early link to to do that. And yeah, as as a who said it, Henry Anderson said, you do get a cool little look at the locksmith on this screen. Ah, oh, he's gone now. Alice says, take it, there he is. So yeah, there is the locksmith in all his glory. Yeah, big up everyone entering that. 
I shall leave the QR um, code on the screen for a little bit more. But yeah, I want to know where you all think this new uh, maze could be located. If you've been watching all of my Fright Nights updates, and you uh, you might have a better idea than those who haven't. Um, but yeah, let me know whereabouts in the park you think this new maze could be located. The logo looks like a sort of maze, so I think the new maze may be a free flow maze with many routes where you can get lost in the maze. Okay. So everyone's saying um, Swarm Island, um, behind Swarm Island, behind Swarm. Chirpsy Chip said, location Swarm Island, name Ghost House, theme you're in a haunted house and getting, a, uh, getting scared, but then you realise you're trapped in a game show for a higher power to watch. Very cool. Okay, very cool indeed. So yeah, I, I can tell you a lot of been watching the construction updates. Big up everyone, thank you very much. And as Henry Anderton said, yep, the, uh, the, the full part live premiere is now live. So uh, we'll be heading over there in just over 11 minutes time. Coaster Mac said, what mazes are free flow? So currently at Fort Park, there are no free flow mazes. Trailers and Creek Free Massacre are both linear mazes. In the past, however, Big Top was fairly free flow, especially the last few years of Big Top, like you could, there were literally like three different doors you could choose to go in, and the strobe room in Big Top was free flow. You could literally split off in your group, go a different way. Um, my favourite ever maze that's been free flow at Fort Park is Cabin in the Woods, in which you could literally pick whatever room you wanted to go in. But yeah, currently at Fort Park, there uh, aren't any free flow mazes. Jessica French said, do you have to be over 18 to subscribe to Forb? Um, I don't know. I can't answer that. If you check the um, terms and conditions at the bottom of the page, I'm having a quick look. Um, it will definitely tell you on there. Um, yeah. But, um... Yeah. My team from Bro will be jumping a train. Yo, big up Merlin's beard. Thank you for the super chat. Love the shirt. Is this Thank new you very much. merch or custom? Is this new Fright Nights merch or custom? So currently, all of the Fright Nights merch is under lock and gear. It hasn't been um, shown at all. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this is not some Fright Nights merch, unfortunately. But there is some very cool stuff um, that I'm sure you'll see very soon. Scaretor in the chat said the original terror in the towers at Alton was free flow at the end. That's cool. That's cool, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get rid of his QR code. I keep pointing the wrong way. I'm going to get... Oh my god, I did it again. I'm going to get rid of his QR code in just a second. Um, so if you haven't scanned it yet, it basically takes you to a competition in which you can win maze tickets for four people, an overnight stay. You basically win the ultimate Friday Nights bundle and we get a lovely shot of the, uh, the locksmith over here. Look at that. So yeah, be sure to um, head over there to go and enter that competition. All you have to do is sign up to the newsletter. That's it. And yeah, technically this competition starts tomorrow, but I've, I've finessed it and I've given you guys the early link to, um, to go and enter this competition. So I'll stick the... Uh, I'll stick the link in the live chat one more time and I'll leave the QR code for another minute or so. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll properly enjoy the last 10 minutes of not knowing what the new mate of this year is going to be. <clears throat> Yo, 
Yes, you do win all of it, Louis. You win that entire package. So it's, it's a bloody good competition. And as I said, I'm not gaining anything from telling you this. I just thought you guys would enjoy it in that competition. Missing the Arsenal game to watch your live stream. Yo, big up, Gemma. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that so much. Who are Arsenal playing tonight? I don't actually know. What's the video on the website that someone's talking about? I haven't actually seen that. All right, I'm going to get rid of that QR code. So if you haven't scanned it, now's your last chance. Um, but yeah, next up, I've asked you where you think this maze could be located. I've asked you what theme. People are saying Platform 16 or Platform 15 sequel. Monsters University maze would go harder than Monsters Inc. <laughs> platform 22. Karen said entered, but he looked scary. The locksmith is a scary old boy. Right, I want to know what you all think the name for the brand new maze for this year could be. Ah, uh, Arsenal playing Aston Villa. Right, let me um, let me get rid of that. Yeah. My team from Yo, big up. <laughs> I love that name, Big Up Melt. <laughs> New dueling coaster plans been submitted, Legoland. Indeed, yes, that's so exciting, isn't it? I forgot all about that. So, yeah, so today we got we have plans um, from yeah, Legoland for a new dueling coaster, which is so exciting. It's another roller coaster to be built down south. Have. It'll probably be built before Project Exodus. <laughs> no, don't say that. Don't jinx it. <laughs> Big up George and Josh, thank you very much for the super chat. Hello to both you, George and Josh. Right, let's take a look at some of these names. So we've got Experiment 22, Mummy's Revenge, Exodus the Maze, Iris, Pharaoh's Revenge, No Idea, <laughs> Sketches the Maze, yo, yeah, Zach's in the chat. <laughs> um, Tutu's Revenge, Swarm Sub Terror, The Watcher. I think that's got some copyright infringement on it, Ailey. <laughs> Um, the Hills Have Eyes, All Seeing Labyrinth, Pharaoh's Revenge, okay, this is cool. Jack Silkstone's Fear, <laughs> Swarm Island, very good, very good. Right, we've got five minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen, before... We find out the brand new maze for 2022 at this year's Friday Night's event. Maybe Tony's tea for something surprising, says Dylan. So, of course, everything revolving this eye symbol started back in the carnival when it first appeared on one of these tarot cards. Pick up Mateo in the chat, come on! <laughs> this was the first time this mysterious symbol was spotted. And since then, it's obviously... It's appeared in all kinds of places. It appeared in the locksmith videos. It's appeared in the background of my streams. <laughs> it's on my t-shirt right now. And of course it is on that final door, door number nine. Dylan said, did you know there were 21 fortune teller cards in the tent at Carnival? Oh my God. See, Carnival has just been a massive Easter egg basically for this year's Fright Nights. And ladies and gentlemen, we have got just over three minutes <laughs> the, the, the countdown is bugging out a bit. It's skipping numbers. It all, all... It's literally jumping down in twos, but there you go. Don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> but we have got just over three minutes to go. Until the announcement. As always, I will um, I'll watch, uh, watch uh, the video on the live stream. 
I'll stay as quiet as possible so that you can all enjoy it. Um, but if you do want to head over to Fort Park's official premiere, then I'll completely understand. I'll still be live afterwards. And uh, yeah, you can all come back to uh, join, join in on the reaction and all of the speculation as to what the maze will have in it. And I've, I've of course got some nice information to share with you all about um, what's going to happen in the maze. <laughs> Maybe the labyrinth idea, but Big you up go Lily Page. the locksmith scrapped ideas and old characters and end up in the control ideas with the locksmith. Okay, I like that. Lily Page said, Maybe the labyrinth idea, but you go through all the locksmith scrapped ideas and old characters and end up in the control room. Um, control ideas with the locksmith. Okay, so it's like all of the, his doors that maybe he didn't kind of use. That's what you're going through in the maze. Okay, nice. Very nice. I've absolutely loved seeing all of this speculation, guys. And I'm very happy to say that we've literally got a minute and a half to go. Big up Rupert for the super chat. Possible scare experience next. Um, so tonight, Rupert, we know for a fact that we are getting the brand new maze announced. The new scare experience was actually called the Terminal. Um, it's going to be a scare audio experience. That was announced the other night. So yeah, if you're all excited, be sure to leave a thumbs up on the stream right now. There's 76 likes currently. Can we get that to over 100 likes before... This countdown gets to zero. So leave a like on the stream if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Oh my god, it's so close. Big up Rage Kappa again. Does Fort have icons like HHN does? Um, I mean, it's in the process of having these icons created. I mean, we have Fear, who is in Fright Night's law the ultimate kind of evil overlooking Fright Nights. That's Fear. And then we've got um, the locksmith who... <laughs> and then we've got the locksmith who um, is one of Fear's workers. So those are the, the kind of main icons at the moment. Yeah, oh, big up. We're on 150 likes. Big up. Right, here we go, guys. It is nearly time for the brand new maze announcement. I've got it already on my second screen. The premiere is about to start in five seconds, guys. This is it. This is what we have been waiting for. I'm going to jump over to that screen right now. Here we go. I'm going to drop down the audio. So that we can properly enjoy it. Here we go. Any second now, we should be starting. Yeah, my Yo, big up, Supermax2021. Thank you so much for that super chat. Jack, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to what you have done to hype us out for Fright Night, and I can't wait for Fright Night. Yo, thank you so much, Supermax. Honestly, I have so much fun making these videos. So the fact that you guys are even watching means the world to me. And yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. The brand new maze for 2022. The time has come. All of your speculation, all of the trailers, every door that the locksmith has unlocked is leading us to this point. The brand new maze for Fright Nights 2022. Here we go. <clears throat> Get ready, survival games! Coming to Fort Park this October. Your one and only chance to prove your worthiness and be part of the elite of Wival! <laughs> The only social media platform worth caring about. The only thing standing in your way, survival. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh boy. And gentlemen, our brand new maze for Friday Nights 2022 Survival Games. There we go. That is the name of the brand new maze. Survival Games, baby. I have got, as always, some information to share with you all regarding the maze. But, um,. Yeah, there we go. What's everyone thinking of that? Let me get rid of this. We've had the announcement now. What's everyone thinking? Survival games. Yeah, I've got plenty of information to share with you about what the maze is actually going to be like. Um, so let me get that up for you all right now. But yeah, I want to see all of your initial reactions. What are you all thinking? Doesn't look scary, says Phaseland. I mean, just just wait till I read you out this description. Um, that might change your mind. And yes, of course, I did make a cheeky little cameo in there. Right. There we go. Hunger Games vibes, says Coaster Rob. Literally no one was expecting that. Okay, as I said, I've got some information to share with you all about what you can actually expect within Survival Games, which is the brand new maze for Friday Nights 2022. Here we go. So I'm going to read out the big description for you all, and then we'll have a big chat about it, because there's some very interesting stuff to share in this description. I'm just going to wait for this super chat to come through so I don't get distracted as, as I'm reading it. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Survival Games is the brand new maze for this year. As soon as this super chat comes through, once my lights start scattering out, yeah. there we go. <laughs> Big up, Zachary. Thank you. Hi, Jack. Can we meet up one day? Can we meet up one day? I mean, the best way to meet me is at Fort Park. I'm always there. <laughs> I'm always there. Big up, Zachary. Thank you, though. Right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the description for survival games. In the dog-eat-dog -dog world of social media, it can be a struggle to claw your way to the top and bag that prestigious blue tick. But for those who desire such status, there's a way to, there's a chance to fast track your way to becoming top dog. The survival games are coming to Fort Park Resort, giving you the opportunity to prove your worth and elevate your social status to new yeah. heights. There's only one thing train, you must do, survive. Big up oh Supermax God, again for the super chat. A documentary like you did last year. Uh, yes, there will be a documentary again this year, Supermax. It's, it's gonna be even bigger and better than last year. Right, let me carry on. Alone and lost in a labyrinth with no followers to aid your survival, you must fight for your life as you battle through relentless rooms full of atrocious assassins and treacherous traps. With multiple routes to take, will you choose the right path to victory or will it be game over in this new gruesome scare maze? Survival Games is a brand new multi-route scare maze and our single biggest Fright Nights investment to date. This incredibly intense indoor experience features live actors, special effects and multiple genres of horror designed to terrify even the most fearless. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a free flow attraction. It's the biggest Fright Nights investment to date and it's super, super intense. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, what are we all thinking of survival games? 
That's right, it's a free flow maze. It's a super intense, it's the biggest single investment at Fright Nights for a very, very long time. <clears throat> So essentially, the story of this is Survival Games is a TV show in which which tours around the world and it is the and it is at Fort Park this Halloween. And by going on it, you can reach basically elite status in the world of social media. And um, yeah, by going through the games, you have to survive against a bunch of assassins who are basically out to kill you in this game show. And yeah, it's a, it's a free flow maze. A big maze as well. It's, it's, it's massive. Oh my god. Very, very exciting indeed. Theme Park Awesome said, This is going to be my first ever free flow maze. So hyped for this. And yes, this maze will in fact be located in those black containers just behind Swarm Island. So yeah, we are once again having a container maze returning to Fort Park. Container mazes were iconic back in the day at Fort Park. They had some of the best mazes Friday Nights have ever had. My Bloody Valentine, Experiment 10, literally iconic mazes in Friday Nights history. And yeah, survival games will be taking place in containers and more, I should say, and more. So yeah, there we go, guys. <laughs> Knock off Squid Game. <laughs> I mean, I can see where I can see the name is quite similar. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is going to be my first Fright Night says Tatsu vlogs. I mean, that's very exciting. That's very exciting indeed. Fork species yeah. of Squid Game. <laughs> Yo, big up theme park POVs. How long is it and are you gonna be split up? So in terms of how long it is, it's pretty much impossible to say with a free flow maze. Because technically you could be in there for ages because you choose well, I say you choose, but you might be forced down certain routes, which means you're in there longer than someone else who goes in at the same time as you. So in terms of how long it's gonna be. It's very hard to say, but it's gonna, it's a big maze. It's a big maze. Um, and are you going to be split up? Yes. Yes is the answer to that. You will be split up in this attraction. So yeah, the whole story behind this eye <laughs> hit the wrong side then is that it's the kind of symbol for this company that are kind of running the games. Wival. There you go. Um, so yeah, that is where this whole symbol, and obviously that is kind of like the, the logo for the maze, and it's been right in our face ever since Carnival, where it first appeared on those uh, tarot cards. Do you have to go alone or can you go with friends? I mean, that's part of the thing with these kind of free flow mazes. Technically, if, you, if you're like literally grabbing onto your friend, then they, they can't split you up, can they? But um, going into the attraction, you will need to know that there is a chance you could be split up. So yeah, very exciting indeed. Dylan said separation chambers. I mean, I'm not gonna say anything else about um, actual details. But, um, love that. Love that from you, Dylan. Welcome to Trailers. This is a live action scare maze. Before you enter our cinema and take your seats, please listen carefully. Once inside, there was to be no eating, drinking, running, or turning. So, yeah, a lot of people are saying, where is it? It is located next to Swarm Island. In fact, let me let me get it up on the maps for you. Let me get it up. Um, yeah, 
So the maze is basically going to be located. So this is a swarm over here. Let me take you for a little walk. <laughs> so we've got the swarm over here going up above you. Essentially, if you head towards the toilet block over here, then you will be heading through these wooden gates over here towards the maze. That is the way in which you will get to survival games. And then, yeah, the maze is located. So you'll go through the gate here, down this pathway, over a little bridge, and then the maze is located in this location right here. So yeah, for a lot of people that obviously didn't do the Sanctum maze at Fright Nights a few years back, um, this is this will be like a new area of the park for you all. Yeah. And yeah, that is the brand new maze for this year, folks. There we go, that's the logo for you all. Survival Games, baby. Do you know how scary it's intended to be? Scarier than trailers and creek. Not an official answer, but I think so, yeah. I think it's gonna be one of the most intense mazes Fort Park have done for a long, long time. Let's give this uh, video another watch. Let's drop down the audio. Let's give it another watch. So yeah, this is obviously the um, kind of social platform which I was talking about. This is where the eye symbol has been Wival, the elite social platform. Get ready, survival games. Coming to Fort Park. And there you go, Wival to allow the British public to apply for the first time by going through survival games, obviously. Did get a little cameo in this video, of course. I got one in trailers last year, so it only made sense. And yeah, this here is one of the contestants that is heading into the survival games. And she is obviously getting prepped by one of the show's producers right here. And there she goes, she walks out into the arena. For survival games. There we go. <clears throat> so Forp have just confirmed apparently on Facebook that you won't start alone, but you may get separated. There's your answer then. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Robin Gaming said, where is the music from? It's, it's from the from the Survival Games TV show. So please, do not touch them. Jack, show us the back of the show. I mean, I can now, as you can see. There you go, it's got the crew. It's the t-shirt I was wearing in that video. That's where it's from. <laughs> so yeah, I obviously couldn't, couldn't turn around at all in the stream. Because it, uh, it obviously gives away a bit in the, of what happens in the video. Will you have a room like Saw Alive where you can see all the guests? Oh, like the pre-show room of Saw Alive. So, obviously, no actual details of the maze are going to be given away. Yet, at least. Um, so, and as for what actually will happen and what kind of rooms you'll go through within the maze, that's still being kept on the lock and key. Um, but for now, the name has been revealed. Will you be doing a maze walkthrough POV like you did for trailers? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, closer to when the event starts, you will see me experiencing the maze for the very first time. I can't say I'm looking forward to it with this one. It's 
one of the most intense mazes Forp have done for a very long time. People are bigging up the uh, little survival games jingle that was in the video. So Fort Park are now in the chat as well. They've said we can answer a few questions. Ask oh, slowly, our eyes cannot cope. So if you've got any questions that maybe I haven't been able to answer or any questions for Fort Park directly, then feel free to um, ask them right now in the live chat. They've been very good at um, replying to everyone. Nathan said, as cool as the concept is, I feel disappointed by this addition. I don't know why they haven't stuck to the old formula. What is the old formula that you're talking about there, Nathan? I mean, that's fair enough. If, you, if you're not hyped, then that's, that's your opinion. I'm so confused. What is it? So essentially, Survival Games is a free flow maze located over by Swarm Island. And it's basically a game show in which you must fight to survive, basically. Like, if you survive, you become one of society's elites. Fort Park have answered what Wyvil actually means. It means moral evil um, and wrongness. Yeah, Fort Park are answering all of the questions there. For uh, Mutal Final is this related to Exodus? And Fort Park have confirmed that it's not. It's not related to Project Exodus. Yo, big up Calvin. Thank you for the super chat. I think Avell is very evil company. I think Wyvil is a very evil company. I mean, the fact that they're running uh, a basically game show where you kill each other. They don't seem like the nicest of companies, do they? They don't. But um, I imagine we'll find even more about um, as time goes on. So yeah, Fort Park have confirmed that you do enter as a group, not alone. So you enter the maze of the group, but there's no guaranteeing that you will stick with that group throughout the entire attraction. Nathan said the old formula is mazes like Big Top, My Believe Valentine, Cabin in the Woods, Saw Alive. Mazes that have really been focused on sheer intensity and nothing else. Just good old fashioned scares. I mean, Fort Park in the description have said that this is a um, an incredibly intense indoor attraction. So I, I very much think it is going to be kind of following those kind of formulas. Uh, it's, it's a pure, intense, free flow maze. So the survival games are just the British version of Squid Games and Hunger Games. <laughs> I mean, I see where you're coming from. <laughs> Will the environmental agency go ahead with Exodus? Thank you, Zachary, for the super chat. At this point, we're not too sure. We're hoping that um, everything gets the go ahead with um, Project Exodus. But at this point, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Paul Parker said, pretty sure you've just described survival games, my friend, uh, in regards to like the old formula for Fright Night's Mazes. That, that is like, the way it's being described is one of the most intense mazes ever. It's free flow, sounds sick. When was the last free flow maze asked Matty plays? Oh, let me think about that one. I actually don't know when the last free flow maze at Fall Park was. I actually don't know. I'm afraid I can't answer that off the bat. Big Top was like the last iconic kind of free flow maze. Technically, was do or die free flow? A little bit maybe, in the way that you got split up at the 
first container, but not really as much as Big Top. So yeah, I'd probably say Big Top was the last kind of free flow maze. <laughs> what if you and Kieran get split up in the maze? That would be an interesting kind of POV video, wouldn't it? If Kieran just gets sent the wrong way off the bat. And it's just a video of no one going through the net. <laughs> Daniel said, I'm kind of obsessed. Can't lie. That's great to hear. I like that question from Raf YouTube Vlogs. Is there an award for winning? And can you lose in survival games? And yes, it seems like this maze is 13 plus. None of this 8 plus like Breakout of Bozos was. It's a 13 plus maze. So yeah. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is our entire Fright Nights lineup now. So obviously, first of all, we've got, we had trailers announced. We had The Crows. We had um, Birthday Bash. And we had Creek Freaks Unchained. Creek Freak Massacre. Um, Amity High versus Lycanthorpe. Graduation Sucks. Then we had, um, what did we have after that? The Terminal. Then Death Stores. And now survival games. That is our entire lineup. We've got three mazes at this year's events: trailers, Creep Free Massacre, the final cut, and survival games. We've got a number of scare zones: Amity High, um, Death Stores, The Crows of Morkin Meadow, and we've of course got Creep Free Unchained roaming around the park. And then we've got Birthday Batch as a show slash scare zone. So yeah, there we go. And I mentioned it earlier, but uh, if you are new to the stream, if you join kind of after the announcement was actually made, I've got a cool competition to share with you guys at the moment, in which if you scan this QR code, then you can win basically an overnight stay to Fright Nights this year for four people with all mazes and the scare experience, the terminal included, unlimited ride fast track, all included. It's four parks competition, but feel free to go and scan that QR code. The competition officially launches tomorrow, but uh, they've been kind enough to let me share an early link with you all. So um, yeah, feel free to scan that QR code to um, go and win yourself uh, basically the ultimate Fright Night stroke for four people. Point to the QR code, Jack. Right, it's that way. Yeah, I've got it, finally, I've got it. <laughs> yeah, you can win all of this stuff on screen here just by signing up via that QR code or in the link, I uh, link below. So definitely head over there to go and uh, enter. You can win yourself a big old Fright Nights package. Sarah asks, is the maze scarier than Bozo's? Yes, yes is the answer to that. Paul Park have said it's an incredibly intense attraction and it is the park's biggest single investment, uh, single Fright Nights investment to date. So it's a, it's, a, it's a big thing. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, that is the final Friday Night's announcement, which is crazy. As I was saying before the um, stream like started properly. Um, it, it's, it's flown by. Like we, our first kind of free teasers were with the locksmith 
going through that corridor and then we had trailers announced and we've had everything announced in between right up to tonight where we finally opened that final door and we finally found out what that eye symbol meant and uh yeah found out that it is in fact survival games the brand new maze for this year Brian said, I think it will go down as one of the best Fort Mazes ever. I mean, you, I can't really say that. I can't really say anything on that until I experience it personally, but it definitely sounds like one of the coolest mazes they've done. So I'm very excited to, to head through there. Just CJ said, when you go up the swarm lift hill, you can see that there is a tent with the containers. So this maze is going to be massive. Yeah, it's going to be a very big maze. It has to be, with it being a free flow attraction. When's the next construction update? So, fingers crossed there'll be one out uh, within the next few days. I'm actually heading to Florida, Orlando, ridiculously soon. So, I need to get that edited and ready to go before I leave. Um, but yeah, there should be another Friday Nights update nice and soon and there unfortunately won't be many videos i've got a few banked up ready to go um over the next few weeks but um yeah for the moment nothing but yeah there'll be a, a point where there's nothing too major <clears throat> so yeah there will be a construction update coming out within the next few days or so I'll tell you what, I've got one more thing to do on tonight's yeah. stream. Someone DM'd me. The old big up, Zachary. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Legacy. Um, Yeah, thank you very much. Someone sent me a link to a tier list that they've made with all of this year's um, Fright Nights editions in it. So, I'm going to do that live on stream, and I might even post it as a standalone video, because I need some content to post while I'm away in Orlando. So, um, I very well may do that right now. Let me line that up. Yeah, my team from Yo, big up Danny, thank you for the super chat. Is Steph Ricketts involved this year? Is Steph Ricketts involved this year? No, Steph is no longer at Fort. She's um, moved on to uh, another job, still within my... Um, so no, unfortunately Steph isn't, isn't there, but she will of course have... She's still in contact with everyone at Fort, so... Her creative flair will still be still be felt at this year's Friday night, so don't you worry. I don't know if I missed the super chat there. I've got it on my screen. So if it doesn't come up, I will definitely read it. Let me get rid of this um, QR code for now. I think I might have missed it, but Zachary sent a super chat saying, does that mean no legacy? I mean, currently, legacy has not been announced. So yeah, there you go. That's just, like, I really enjoyed legacy last year. Right, so, over on this screen, someone has made a tier list for me, and they sent it to me over on Twitter. So, my plan is to do this on stream, basically say what I'm excited for at this year's Fright Nights. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do this together. So I'm gonna drop down the audio a little bit. And, Hopefully, I can, um, yeah, I'll, I'll basically use this as a video for when I'm, I'm away, finessing it. But yeah, you guys can help me put these into um, where they need to be. So, I've just seen a super chat come through, so I will just wait so that I'm not I'm distracted during it. <clears throat> Do 
Jack, you had three cameos in the trailers yeah. this year. <laughs> Thank you very much, Charlotte's Life, for the super chat. Can you chat. play it again? I was running late and missed it. <laughs> I can, Charlotte. I'll play it one more time, and then we will do this. Um, we will do this tier list. So I'll play it one more time for you, Charlotte. Let's give it a watch. Here we go. Get ready, survival games. Coming to four part this October. Your one and only chance to prove your worthiness and be part of the elite of Wival. The only social media platform worth caring about. The only thing standing in your way, survival. You're very welcome, Charlotte. Don't you worry. I hope you're enjoying it. There we go. Survival games, baby. The brand new maze for this year. Right, it's time for a tier list. Let me see if this works. I'm gonna try and record this as I'm doing this as well. So, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, as you can see at the bottom, we have got all nine of this year's Fright Nights attractions, mazes, scare zones, and experiences. So, I'm gonna rank them on this tier list. So, I guess we start with Birthday Bash. What are the actual rankings? Highest ranked slash most excited, hyped, interested, cool to see return slash cool content, um, need more info to be hyped. Can I edit one of these? No, I don't. Oh, okay, I can. I, I feel like I should change this last one. I feel like I should um change that. Interested. Let's just change it to meh. Surely I won't vote anything meh, but... Okay, so here we go. Let's start off with Birthday Bash, which is, of course, the first introduced to Friday Nights last year. It was the new um, kind of show for the 20th birthday. This year it's its 21st birthday. Now, I'm going to put it either in interesting, interested, I, I can't do it dirty and put it in meh, because I am actually excited for it. It did really well last year. But I feel like if, if anything is to go in May, it would have to be Birthday Bash. Just because everything else, I am so hyped for. What do you guys think? Birthday Bash, May. People are saying May. I'm thinking either interested or May. But I don't know. People are saying May. So I, I don't want to, but I'm going to put it in May. But... I think it, it does low-key deserve to be there. The whole chat's saying there, so I'm going to put it in there. Right, Creek Freaks Unchained. This is obviously the first year that Creek Freaks Unchained have broken out of the sawmill and Old Town. In previous years, they've just kind of been contained within Old Town. But of course, with Project Exodus, it's, um, it's causing them a bit of issues. So... I think for Creek Freaks Unchained, I'm gonna go ahead. It's a tricky one. It's a very tricky one because if Creek Freaks Unchained are running around the park with chainsaws, then I definitely am interested. But oh, I don't know, I shouldn't have called it meh. People are saying it should go in hyped. I don't know if I can put it in hyped. I'm going to go ahead and put Creek Freaks Unchained in Interested, okay? I'm being so harsh. I, 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 they don't deserve this. I'm excited for everything. Creek Freak Massacre, the final cut. I'm stuck between hyped and interested. I think I'm going to put it in Interested just because it's obviously a maze that we've done a lot throughout the past. So we know what we're getting into. 
and I am excited that it's its final year, but yeah, I'm going to put it in interested, although it could technically go in hyped. Now, next up, we've got Amity High versus Lycanthorpe. Graduation sucks. What am I thinking for this one? I feel like I've been too mean calling this meh. I've, I've absolutely messed it up. Calling it meh because it just sounds like, I, it sounds like I'm being, BMing it. Um, where does this one belong to be? I'm thinking either interested or meh. Just because it's the same kind of concept that we've had every year, right? So, I don't know. I'm going to have to put it in there just because um, technically it should go in that because I do need more information. Because if they are going to add like stuff for the graduation year, then yeah, it does deserve to be higher. But at the moment, I'm not too sure. Death Stores, I think absolutely hyped for that one. Definitely hype for Death Stores. Oh, Fort Parker here. They said they're watching. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Death Stores, I'm going to put in hype. It's a brand new scare zone for this year. It's a very interactive scare zone. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in hype. Because it is new. Like, I'm obviously excited for the new thing. Right. Next up, obviously, this tier list was made before Survival Games was announced. So it hasn't got the logo but survival games it deserves to go right at the top my highest ranked thing my most excited thing for this year's fright nights i cannot wait to experience this maze one of the most intense mazes fright nights has ever seen it's got to be the highest rank doesn't it do you guys agree in the chat what are you saying next up we've got the crows of morkin meadow okay now the Crows of Morkin Meadow is due to be a little bit bigger this year, I think. Fort Park on Twitter said that it's the same location, but there's more of Morkin to discover. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this one in Interested. Because once again, we've had the Crows at the event for the past few years. So I know what kind of characters we're going to get in this zone. Um, however, you know. Fingers crossed it will be expanded on, which is why I'm putting it in interested. In. Terminal. The Terminal. Obviously, the brand new experience for this year. Now, this one is an audio-only experience. Something that the park have never done. So, again, it's a very new experience. I'm torn between hyped and interested for this one. I'm going to put it... It just looks weird because it's the top three. It's all three new mazes. New experiences. New things. In my top three. It just, of course it's going to be. It's the new things. But yeah. I am excited for the terminal. I do think. It's one of those things that. It's going to be impossible to judge. Until we actually experience it. Because of the nature of it. Like it's an audio experience. Until you're in that kind of isolation booth. On your own with that audio. It's going to be impossible to judge. So yeah. I'm going to put it in hyped. Now as for trailers. Oh, it's a tricky one because obviously it was a big new maze last year. It was huge. I mean, yeah, to be fair, I probably should put Terminal. It needs more info to be hyped. Yeah, good. The chat has have told me to put that down there. So I'm going to go and put it, put it down there. Which feels wrong because it's right at the bottom of the tier list. But there you go. Now, as for trailers, it was a new maze last year. It's been open during Carnival, which unfortunately does kind of knock it for me in terms of Fright Nights. Like... I went through it last week, so I'm not as hyped to go through trailers as I am, say, to experience Birthday Bash or to experience Amity, because I've been waiting a whole year to go experience those characters again. So I am going to have to put trailers at the bottom of my mail list. Um, and yeah, there we have this year's tier list. I'm just checking that I've, I don't regret anything I've done. Definitely most excited for the survival games. Definitely hyped for Death Stores. Terminal could also be in hype, but I do literally need more information on that. I don't think you can judge it. And you're obviously not going to see any construction for Terminal until, like, whatever building it's going to be housed in is on park. So, yeah. 
Creek Freak Massacre, Creek Freaks Unchained, and the Crow's All In Interested. Yeah, and I feel bad that I've called this meh. I shouldn't have changed the name, because I don't think these things are going to be meh, but I guess I just don't have as much hype for these things as I do the others. So, yeah. I'm pretty happy with that tier list. What do you guys think? Do you, do you agree with this list? Anything that you'd change? Mutau, um fan says, raise Amity and like him, please. It's got a cult following, but I don't know. Raise Creek Freak. Why is the social media one the highest? Because, in my opinion, it's, it's, it's the new maze for this year. I'm, I'm hyped for it. This is so biased. I do agree. It is very biased. I mean, all three of these things are like the new thing. So, of course. Um, <laughs> people are saying they change everything. Fair enough. This is my own opinion. <laughs> Creek Freak Highest, I mean, yeah. Trailers need to go into Interested. I mean, to be honest, Trailers is the one thing that I probably wouldn't change of everything. Just because I, I did it, like, last week. So I, I genuinely, like, I'm, I'm not as excited for Trailers as I am the other things. But yeah, I, I think that's a pretty fair, fair list. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it in. We're, we're leaving it right there. <laughs> Robotics said, Death Stores highest needs more info for survival. My highest is Death Stores. I mean, you can't put Amity and Lycan at the bottom. I mean, I can. It's been at the event for so long now. So, technically, like... I don't know. It's been there for a while. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, go I'm going to lock in my tier list there. Feel free to rinse me in the comments as much as you want. <laughs> but that is uh, my current standings. It might change as construction develops. But that is my current standings. Uh, my current tier list right there. <laughs> Let me um, get the old audio back. But yeah, that is officially my last live stream now. Which is insane, like, I've had so much fun filming all of these. I mean, who knows, once I'm back from Florida, there might be a few, um, a few live streams announcing cool stuff that I've got um, planned for this year's Friday Nights, which um, unfortunately haven't been kind of signed off enough to, to chat about in today's live stream. But, um, but yeah. There, there might yeah. be a few more live streams coming. Yo, big up Katie Wally. Thank you for the super chat. So yeah, I've honestly had so, so much fun with these live streams. Normally every year I've obviously filmed all of the construction updates. I've still been doing construction updates this year, but these live streams have been so much fun. Just to come and chat and uh, speculate with you all and just have a good hour or so to chat with you all every single night. It's been so much fun. And yeah, I honestly appreciate all of you joining every single um, live stream so much. We've had so much fun. We've had so much speculation. Fast says, do you reckon next year will be more of a Fright Nights refresh? Oh my god, we're already speculating next year's Fright Nights. Oh my god. Too soon for that, I think. We've got to at least get through this year's Fright Nights. <laughs> Dominic said, when is the documentary coming? Um, a lot sooner than it did last year. This year we kind of released the behind the scenes documentary in February. This year it'll be a lot closer to Fright Nights. Um, yeah, we need to actually finish finish filming it all this year, though. 
is strictly no flash photography or filming allowed. If you suffer from any heart, neck, or back problems, or epileptic... Will you be doing another tier list once Friday Nights is finished? That's a very good idea. Yes, I should probably do that. Anyone who does not follow these restrictions risks being ejected from the resort. We thank you and hope you enjoy your experience. <laughs> But yeah, honestly, thank you all so much for all of the love, all of the support, all of the super chats throughout these live streams. I honestly appreciate it so much. All of the comments. You guys are legends. You really, really are. And yeah, I can't wait to hopefully see you all at Friday nights. As I said, I'm going to be there a load throughout Halloween. I'll be there very regularly indeed. But yeah. Thank you all so much for all the love. And yeah, obviously Oktoberfest is coming up next now that Carnival's finished. And then as soon as Oktoberfest is finished, we are all guns blazing for this year's Fine Arts. Sick. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. It feels weird not ending on a poll or anything, but this is officially the last Fright Nights announcement live stream. It's quite sad, it's quite sad get the red light in here so yeah i hope you all have a brilliant evening and a brilliant few weeks and i shall see you hopefully live very soon have a good one everyone my name's sex silverstone good Action!